Okay, welcome back. This is now question number five from the P3 International A-Level Edexcel January 2021 paper. And this question here is about, it looks like, exponentials and logarithms. So here we have a temperature or the temperature theta degrees Celsius inside an oven T minutes after the oven is switched on is given by this equation theta equals a minus 180 e to the power of minus kt where a and k are positive constants given that the temperature inside the oven is initially 18 degrees celsius find the value of a so if the temperature of the oven is initially 18 degrees celsius that means when t equals zero theta equals 18. okay so what we can do is we can replace the theta with 18 and we can replace the t with zero. So we have a minus 180 e to the power of minus k times zero is going to be zero. And we know e to the power of zero is one. Anything to the power of zero is one. So we're left with 18 is equal to a minus 180. Therefore, a is equal to 180 plus 18, which is 198. That's the value of a. And that's part A done. Then it says the temperature inside the oven five minutes after the oven is switched on is 90 degrees Celsius. Show that K equals P lin Q, where P and Q are rational numbers to be found. So what we have so far now, we know the value of A, the constant A is 198. So that's 198 minus 180 times E to the power of minus KT. So that's what we have so far. Now we've got a new situation where they told us um, five minutes after the oven is switched on and t is in minutes t is in minutes that's fine so when t equals five theta is equal to 90 so i have these other two pair of values which can, i can put into this equation and i can try to find the unknown k so i've got 90 is equal to 198 minus 180 e to the power of minus k times five Okay, so now I can just uh, try to rearrange this. I'll, I'll say 180 e to the 180 180 e to the power of minus 5k basically is equal to 198 minus 90. If I subtract these, that gives me um, 108. So we got 180 e to the power of, I keep writing 18 down, 180 e to the power of minus 5k is equal to 108. Okay, so now I need to uh, divide both sides by 180. So e to the power of minus 5k is equal to 108 divided by 180. That's 118, actually. Oh, minus 90, sorry. Yeah, 108 divided by 180. Sorry about that. That gives you 3 fifths. So e to the power of minus, three, uh, minus 5k is equal to 3 over 5. Now what I can do to solve this is um, what I like to do. I like to make this a positive power. So I'll write this as e to the power of 5k is equal to... 5 over 3. The reciprocal of e to the power of minus 5k is e to the power of 5k. The reciprocal of 3 fifths is 5 over 3. So I can just, you know, basically write the reciprocal of this is equal to the reciprocal of that because it's like one fraction, one fraction. So now I can take the log to the base e of both sides, in which case I've got 5k is equal to lin. Log to the base e means lin, basically. 5 over 3. And we have to show in the form p and q are rational numbers to be found. Okay, so that's fine. So we can say k equals p lin q. That's fine, yeah. So k is equal to 1 over 5 times lin 5 over 3. And that's how we have to express the answer. K, lin p, k, k equals p lin q. So p here is 1 fifth. And q is 5 over 3. Okay, so there's the answer to this question number
part B, number 5, part B. Okay, so now we know the value of K, and we know the value of A. Okay, so now let's go on to the next question. Okay, now it says, hence find the temperature inside the oven nine minutes after the oven is switched on, giving you answer to 3SF. So now all we have to do is substitute T equals 9 into the expression, what we got, the equation. So we've got theta equals 198, 198 minus 180 times um, e to the power of minus, now we've got minus, um, we've got t is equal to 9, so it's going to be 9 over 5, so I'll multiply the t with this 1 fifth, lin 5 over 3, and we have to give the answer to 3, 3sf, so I just have to stick this in my calculator basically. So I'm going to have here 198 minus 180 times e to the power of, you're going to have minus 9 over 5 times the lin of 5 over 3. Okay, so 180 minus 180 to the power of minus 9 over 5 lin 5 over 3. And that gives us 126.2297. 126.2297. Yeah, so to three significant figures, that's going to be 126 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's theta is 126, basically. That's part C. Now we're going to go on to part... Okay, part D says... The rate of increase of the temperature inside the oven nine minutes after the oven is switched on. Give your answer in Celsius per minute to three significant figures. So we've got to find the rate of increase. Now the rate of increase is basically d theta dt. That's the rate of increase in temperature. That's the rate of change in temperature. So we've got to find d theta dt when t is nine minutes. So we've got to differentiate this. Now to differentiate this, well, the 198 disappears because it's a constant. To differentiate something in this form, you're going to have, you keep it as it is, 180e to the power of minus k. T. <coughs> I'll leave it in terms of k now. I have to keep writing all this stuff down. Now, to, to, to differentiate this, I have to differentiate it as normal. Now, e to the power of something doesn't change. It stays exactly as it is. But there's a function inside the function, which is this minus kt. So I have to multiply by the differential of what's inside the function. So I multiply by minus k. The differential of minus kt with respect to t is minus k. So I have to multiply this by minus k. So I end up with positive 180 times k e to the power of minus kt. And we got to find the the temperature we got to find the rate of increase when t is equal to 9. So what I'm going to do is I can now replace everything with what it's equal to. So 180 times 1 fifth, so it's 180 over 5 times lin of 5 over 3, multiplied by e to the power of, and you're going to have 9 now, so it's 9 over um, 5, okay, so you're going to have a minus 9 over 5, okay, and you're going to have lin 5 over 3, okay, so you'll have something like this, that's 180 times k, 180 times k, k is all of this, all right, times e to the power of minus k times t, so minus 9 over 5 lin 5, 3, 5 over 3, the t was multiplied by the 1 fifth, gave you, the t was 9, you see? Now, if I just stick this into my calculator, I should get the answer and write it to 3SF. So here I'm going to have 180 divided by 5, which gives us an exact value actually. 180 divided by 5 is going to be 36. Anyway, so that's 36 times the lin of 5 over 3. Okay, and all of that is multiplied by e to the power of um, minus 9 over 5 
then of 5 over 3. There we have it. 180 over 5, which is 36 lin. 5 over 3 times e to the power minus 9 over 5 lin. 5 over 3. And that gives me 7.3324. Point three three, is it 2, 2, 4 or 4, 2? 2, 4, 2. 2, 4, 2, dot, 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 continues on. We want to write our answer to three significant figures. So that's equal to 7.33. And that is basically uh, the rate of change of temperature with time, which is going to be degrees Celsius per minute. And there's the answer to the question number, part D of question five. And I think that was all of question five, yes. Okay, so we're done with question five. It's all about exponentials and logarithms and modeling. Now on the, um, in this playlist here, you'll find other questions from this paper that you might want to watch. January 2021 P3. Um, you're going to find other questions with exponentials and logarithms in from P3 in this um, in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel from here. On the top of the page, you'll find another P3 paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you soon.